Hey guys, what's up? Uh, so today I'm going to be making a pretty cool video on how to make your own test tubes uh, without actually having to buy them off of Amazon for your Queen Ant setup. Uh, this is just, so what we'll need is, we'll just need a big thick straw. Now this is about, you know, the, the, the diameter of my pinky, a little bit bigger. You could probably find this in any drink store. You know, like if you like to drink boba, you know, milk tea with uh, tapioca balls, those are really good. And they give you these. You can also you can also ask for an extra one if you want a clean one, but washing them will definitely work. I've already gone and cut this to the size I want. This is about the size of my palm right here. It's about five inches. Yeah, five inches. <clears throat> so yeah, let's get started. So obviously you need the straw. Well, you also need it scissors to cut the straw with and then you need pliers if you don't have pliers a set of wooden disposable chopsticks will work definitely work um make sure the top stays together make sure you don't you know rip it open yet if you already have chopsticks but you already ripped it open just rubber band the side it'll work it'll definitely work if you don't have chopsticks or pliers Anything that basically clamps to that you can clamp this straw with will work. Make sure the clamp is like flat though. You don't want a jagged clamp because that might hurt the straw. And lastly, you will need a lighter. If you're too young for playing with fire, ask your parents to do it for you. You know, don't do it yourself because that's really dangerous and I've burned my finger before and that hurts. Yeah, that was probably not a good idea, but okay. Let's get started. First, we're gonna take one side of this, the flat side, not the, not the pointy one. We don't want, we don't, you can throw this away or you could make a second one out of it, but cut this, this part off. Um, so yeah, you're gonna take this and you wanna squeeze, 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 squeeze it flat. Make sure it's all the way flat. And the, sometimes the sides, if you can see, the sides are kind of like open. You don't want that. We want to all the way close and we're going to take our plier or our chopsticks or whatever you want to use and we're going to close it like this now we're going to i'm squeezing really tight here i'm going to take my fingers away so you can see um i leave about maybe a third of a centimeter this is probably a quarter of an inch and this is where we're going to be burning all the way on this side all right, and once i burn it the plastic will melt and it'll close up and it'll make that waterproof and that make I hope that makes sense. Let me just show you. So remember, I'm gonna I'm squeezing pretty tight right now, squeezing pretty hard, and I'm gonna take my fire, my lighter, and I'm just gonna run this. As soon as it starts to melt, I am going to move on to the next section. I'm gonna nice and even. If it starts to smoke, it's not. You've done it too far. Okay, and uh, make sure you are in a well ventilated area because doing this will probably give off some toxic fumes that you don't want to breathe in. So hold your breath. Um, so you squeeze in about 20 seconds will, is definitely enough to cool it. For the sake of this video, I'm probably just going to open it now. To open it, don't just take this and like rip it off because if this part hasn't cooled yet and you rip that off, it will stick to your plier and you'll draw all these like really thin strands of plastic and that's just really annoying. You have to burn them off or cut it off. <clears throat> Let's see, okay, so to take it off, you just slowly take the pressure off of the plier, right? And now I'm, now I'm just holding it now. And then what you can do is you open it and sometimes it'll pop out. A lot of times only one side will pop out like this, right? It'll stick to one side and you take this and you just kind of wiggle it this way and that's all. It's done, look, it's, it's, it's sealed together. Let me see if I can get a good focus on that. But yeah, it's sealed together, it's waterproof. If you're not really sure if you did it right, what you can do is you feel it. If it's smooth, it's probably good. If not, blow on it. If air doesn't escape, it's waterproof. That's all. So on this side, obviously we're gonna fill it up with water and then you put the cotton ball in here and over here would be uh, where the queen ant would live and then you stopper it with another piece of dry cotton ball. Make sure it is dry because you need, uh, you know, CO2 oxygen exchange with the, with the surroundings. That's all, guys. Um, you know, I keep a lot of these <laughs> in my backpack in college. There's a lot of ants around my campus and, you know, one night it was, it was 2 a.m. and I just, 
I just caught a bunch of Campanadas queens. It was amazing. It was really big. But yeah, like people look at me funny. I was 2 a.m. outside looking for ants. It's probably not the safest thing to do. I'm like, but yeah, it works. It definitely works. You know, that's what I did is starting off. That's all. Thanks, guys.